What's going on guys? Shergun here, your personal mentor. So I decided that I'm gonna actually create this new series, uh, series, weekly thing, where I'm gonna help you guys uh, unlock and um, surface some cool jobs. So every week I'm gonna go through different industries from investment banking, consulting, tech, venture, and hopefully find some interesting jobs for you guys to apply to. So today I have three jobs that I want you guys to look into. They may not, not be at your level, they may be a little bit older than you, maybe a little bit you know, uh, junior than you in terms of your experience, but you know what, uh, I'm gonna surface them and I'm gonna also show you how I would apply to them. So the first job I wanna show you guys is this job at Founder Collective. So Founder Collective is a venture capital firm. I believe it's in New York. A uh, really cool firm, uh, they do a lot of early stage investments. Their team is, you know, a lot of ex-founders. I think all of them are ex-founders. Um, and I saw this role online on Twitter. So first thing I want you guys to do, have a Twitter account. A lot of companies, especially these niche companies from boutique firms to venture capital firms, they all, you know, post jobs in their own little network. And if you're not a part of that network, you're not gonna get access to that job. So. Um, VC world, if you want to get into the VC world, knowing who's hiring, you've got to be on Twitter. So create a Twitter account. You don't have to post on it, but at least have it so you know, you f you'd find out you know, who's hiring and who is not. So I found this out because one of the partners there, I believe, named Micah, posted that they are looking for their next principal. So for those of you who know, don't know, in VC world, you have associate roles, principal roles, partner roles, and then you know, GP, LPs, no, not LPs, sorry, GPs. So that's kind of usually how it works. Principal is kind of like the vice president of investment banking in, in, a, in a VC world, and it is basically partner track. So if you get into the principal role and you do well, you should be able to become a partner uh, in, in you know four to five years, let's just say. This is just average. All right, so the first job I wanna show you guys is Founder Collective. So I found out about this on Twitter, I researched it, and the first thing I came across is that they actually created this article on Medium. And this is really cool because they titled it uh, A Day in the Life of a Future Principal which I thought was pretty cool. So, you know, what will you do? So instead of having a job description, this is literally like day in the life description, which I think is the right way to do it. So as you can see from here, you know, what does someone do? They've layered, you know, um, laid it down from Zoom calls to, uh, you know, chatting with, you know, portfolio companies to having lunch with other funds, uh, building your brand, which is a big part. And I mentioned this in my course a lot that you should always be building your brand. Um, to do dil doing due diligence, which by the way, also I think like this word due diligence is is not right. Like doing due diligence just sounds wrong to me. Anyways, so separate topic. Those are my problems. Um, <laughs> so due diligence, basically like you know researching companies and making sure the companies that are coming in uh, are the right ones for you to back or put time behind. Then meeting partners on and catching up on deals. Uh, and then uh, answering a million emails. Yes, you know as as a, as a VC, you're going to be doing a lot of email work. So that's something that you'll definitely be, you know, part of. Um, and then, uh, you know, just other stuff that they have, interesting things. But anyway, this is kind of like the stuff that they're talking about. Let me just make sure we are recording this. Yes, we are recording this. So um, you would then like, you know, go through this and they have some requirements overall, but the key requirements, if you look at it, you know, we're looking for someone with deep startup expertise. What does that mean? That means someone who has worked in a startup or started one and they say that, you know, ideally you founded a company. So, and this could be even a small company, could be a massive company, could be just an Instagram channel. So don't be like, oh my God, I haven't started the next Facebook, what should I do? Um, and then and look, they say that if, even if you're an early employee, that's great. So, you know, just because some requirements seem way out of your league, you know, definitely don't, you know, pause there. Anyway, so how to apply? You reach out to principal at foundercollective.com. So how would you apply for something like this? Now, first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to you know Founder Collective. So let's figure out Founder Collective's website. Just go to Google. Here we go. So, all right, here's the company. Our mission is to build the most aligned VC fund for founders at the seed stage. And seed stage, for those of you who don't know, if you look at any company's, um, um, uh, I guess, path, you know, you start with early stage, brand new company, they don't have really anything that's early stage, that's usually angel stage. Then you have seed stage where they have some revenue coming in. Then you have series A when the, when there's like, you know, a lot more revenue coming in, there's product market fit. And then series B, C and onwards, and hopefully IPO or some sort of M&A exit in the future. So seed stage, usually very, very early stage companies, generally speaking, less than five employees, uh, have a product that's working, but not perfectly. Um, and these guys, these founder collective guys go in that. So if you look at some of their deals on the bottom, you can see, Airtable, which is great. Coupon, I think is out of Korea. Um, Pill Pack, uh, Uber, obviously everybody puts Uber, but I'm not sure how deep were they in Uber, but 
it's one of those deals that I always like, you know, kind of go, hmm, did you really get in there? Anyway, so, uh, you know, they've done some cool stuff, whatever. Uh, the stuff that I'll just also recommend is like, you know, just ignore this like marketing that you always see in the, in the front. Our mission is to build the most aligned VC fund for founders at seed stage. Everybody has this marketing, so don't just be like, oh my God, that's what they want. So I'm definitely a founder, so I'll get this job. Don't like tie a horse to that tree. You know, a lot of the marketing lingo can be misleading, even though I'm not saying these guys are not founder aligned. I think they are, but everybody has some sort of lingo like that. But the key thing we should be doing is you should be going to team. So let's look at the team and see who the people are. We got David, Eric, Micah. So Micah is the guy who I follow on Twitter. He's got a great Twitter account. You know, seems like someone I would want to work with. Um, so anyways, all of them have their Twitter. So what you want to do is you want to research all of their LinkedIn, see who they are, their backgrounds are, go to each one of, the, one of these people's Twitter and read like their last like, you know, 60 to 100 tweets and just understand who these people are. Uh, and then look at the other team, right? Parole and seems like Parole just joined recently. Uh, and then they have this role called founder partners. I don't know what founder partner is. I think it is founders of their portfolio company who help them source deals and review deals and review opportunities. That's probably what it is. Do your research on it. Anyways, the best way to kind of figure out if you're applying for a role, so if you're applying for a principal role, you see Parole is a principal at this firm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go check out her LinkedIn and I'm also gonna check out her Twitter. So let's go to her LinkedIn, see what we get. All right, my friend Parole, principal. Cambridge, Massachusetts, uh, let's go down here. Let's see her background, engineer and product manager turned early stage investor, forever founder, proud investor and in amazing service, ad hoc smalls, bloom, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, still early stage in her career. Startup mentor, lecture get HBS, I don't know what that is, uh, MIT, just to, just to dig on some of our friends in Boston. Uh, Accelerator New York, and, and my article on early stage fundraising is the number one Google result for how to raise a seed round, there you go. So you're getting a little bit of information about this person. Definitely read her article because there's a high chance she may be the first one you will be screened against or screened by. Uh, subscribe to her newsletter or read her newsletter. Uh, shoot her a DM. She's asked, she's saying, hey, send me a DM and you know, don't be worried, go for it. Um, all right, so let's look at her experience. She's been there four years. Okay, so she's been there a while. So this is a good uh, uh, way to think about it. Maybe she joined as a principal and she's still a principal. So hopefully she becomes a partner soon. Five years is usually the time. It looks like she's done a lot of sourcing uh, and has got a pretty good experience, so that's nice. Then let's go below Northeastern. Then she was a founder at a couple of companies, um, has done some cool stuff in education. Um, and then obviously she interned there. Okay, there you go. So that's where you know the you know their paths connected. And always dig deep and see what she did before senior PM, uh, product manager. And the key thing I want you guys to understand here is, which I think is interesting, is that she didn't go to Goldman Sachs or McKinsey. Right, which I think is very, very interesting, right? So you, a lot of people think that if you wanna be a VC, you gotta to go to Goldman Sachs, be an investment banker, or you gotta be a consultant. No, look at her experience, right? She's been a PM in all of these places. So I think that's super cool. And if you are in a uh, situation like that, where you have opportunities, where you know, you're a PM at any company, startup, building products, doing actual work, operational work, right? That's super relevant experience. Because remember, once you're a VC, it's not all about an analyzing finan financials because remember early stage companies like or funds like this fund, Founder Collective, you know, the companies they're looking at don't really have a lot of numbers to analyze. They have a lot of operational numbers, but not financial numbers. So, so that's interesting. Now in her education, she went to MIT, did her MBA. Um, MBA, is that MBA? Master of Business? Hmm, that took her a while. Maybe she took a gap year. Uh, and then she was at Harvard, uh, studied uh, government, uh, and stuff related to that. Again, look, she didn't really study any sort of finance or business. And from what I can tell, she did not take any sort of like technical, she wasn't a technical major. So again, great reason for anybody out there who's like, hey, I'm not a technical person. How can I be a VC or how can I be a, uh, you know, in these industries that are related to tech and startups? Look, if you're passionate about something, you've built something, you're excited about it, perfect opportunity for you to uh, knock on the door. And if you have the right, you know, core foundational, uh, skills for industries like that, this could be a great fit for you. All right, uh, other than that, I think the rest of LinkedIn is pretty boring, so I would recommend against it, but then also check out some of the other team members. So obviously Micah, you should click on Micah, see what Micah's been up to, what trouble has he been up to. So here, you know, he's told you everything about it. So this kind of research, this due diligence, the word that I hate, you should do before you even apply. That way you can, once you do apply, your application is gonna be a lot more thoughtful. Anyway, so do your research, know exactly what the role is all about, 
and then apply. So remember when we looked at the Founder Collective thing, they mentioned that, hey, you gotta apply using this email, uh, principal at foundercollective.com. So let's go back to it. There you go, principal at foundercollective.com. Um, so what I want you to do is shoot an email, principal at foundercollective.com, even CC some of these people. And it's not hard to CC some of these people. Like if you wanna CC Micah because you know, you saw the job description from Micah on Twitter, CC Micah. And it's not hard to find Micah's email, right? It's probably Micah at foundercollective.com. Shoot him an email, let him know your interest, attach your resume, and mention why you would fit the role and why you're excited about it and put something personal in it, and then hit send. All right, so that's the first job, guys. Hopefully you guys can apply to it. Principal role, usually, in my opinion, you're uh, you know, seven to eight years in your career, generally speaking. Um, so you've definitely done you know, a stint as an analyst somewhere else or maybe an associate somewhere else. So that's where I think principal would come in after that usually a post MBA role, but I don't think MBA is necessary for it. So anyways, apply to that. Hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, all right, let's move on to the next one. Um, oh, okay. So Goldman Sachs, our favorite investment bank. So Goldman Sachs is hiring someone uh, at, for the TMT role, which is technology, media, and telecom as an analyst in London. So all of you people who are in the US or Canada always apply internationally. Don't just you know limit yourself to jobs that are local because you know, that's not, uh, you know, there's a lot of other opportunities outside and sometimes you would have a better fit internationally. And I think international job experience is awesome. I've worked in Hong Kong, helped, helped me a lot, built my network, built my net worth as well because you pay lower taxes and all that good stuff. So there's a job from Goldman Sachs, just a couple of things. The application deadline is September 24th. So you still have time um, and it's in London. Now it is a full-time job, salary competitive, probably is like 150,000 US dollars total. Um, now. Goldman Sachs, we already know what it is. TMT, just to give you an idea, in London, you know, I think there's a lot more M uh, and T versus the first T. The first T is technology. I think there's more tech in the US, in New York, and San Francisco for uh, Goldman Sachs, um, and even in Hong Kong. But the but London, in my opinion, I think is media and telecom. But anyways, this job is up. Uh, I think this is an interesting opportunity for those of you, and I probably think this is a lateral opportunity. Uh, I don't think it's a freshman first year option. This might be like someone who has some experience before. Um, and I think you can look at it, it says skills and experience, prior experience gained from working within investment banking, uh, focus on TMT sector. But whatever you see in these things, like you know, when you see uh, requirements or things that we're looking for, don't just be like, oh my God, I don't have this you know, single piece or I don't have uh, you know, this other piece. You know, these are just things that HR team puts in. You should always take the shot, always apply, get your resume souped up and send it across um, and because like you never know uh, you know what what clicks so, so this one I think is a great opportunity TMT is one of the best groups in Gold at Goldman Sachs they do some of the most like I think probably one of the most deals there um, and because it's in London I think it's a great chance you'll be covering the entire region and even maybe Middle East uh, which probably is the case yeah, yeah I think it says EMEA I think that's Europe Middle East and Asia um, but now I think this is a great opportunity you should definitely apply apply here the other thing I would do is as you're applying, I would actually search who's the head of TMT banking at Goldman Sachs. So head of TMT banking, Goldman Sachs, uh, EMEA. Let's see who that person is. Um, all right, let's see. So this is some guy named Devansh Gupta, TMT London, names new, there you go, eight on that's 2013. Anyways, let's see this thing and let's see this thing and see what we get. This is how I would do it. All right, look at this. Look at this handsome man, Devansh Gupta, uh, TMT Investment Banking, Goldman Sachs, uh, ten plus years, Goldman Sachs. Okay, so oh, okay, he's been VP. Oh, he's a recent uh, executive ED at TMT. So look at his career path, guys. You know, he's been working at a bunch of different places. And this is a good, this is a good uh, LinkedIn for you guys to kind of, uh, you know, learn from. Just because you don't start your career at Goldman Sachs doesn't mean you can't end your career at Goldman Sachs. This dude, if you look at it, did his MBA at LBS, London Business School in 2014, uh, graduated, then joined KPMG. Uh, you know, and a lot of people be like, why would I go to accounting or why would I do corporate finance at KPMG? I wanna be a Goldman Sachs investment banker. But no, guys, you know, baby steps, one step at a time. So he joined Goldman Sachs, he was an associate director, sorry, joined KPMG, he was an associate director there. And then he was there for two years, 10 months, just under three years. And then he got his you know, shot at investment banking. That's probably what he wanted to do after MBA, but didn't get that opportunity then. No worries. He kept on trying, became a VP at TMT Investment Banking for Barclays, another great bank out of London. Worked there for under, under three years. And guess what? You know, got the call from the, the OGGS, Goldman Sachs, 
as ED for TMT. So awesome story, awesome path. He's been there just under a year now, uh, approaching a year, um, and and that shows you like you you know you can start anywhere you want and hope and you know you can build your path to your dream job. And for him, you know, I'm, let's look at what he did before that. He was a summer associate um, at in, in investment banking prior. So he did a bunch of investment banking, a little bit of investment banking, I guess, as interns before, as an intern before. But I'm sure when he graduated from Michigan, as you can see here in 07, this dude's been trying to get into investment banking as a full-time uh, employee, but has it's just been hard for him, right? Various reasons. But now, the dude's, uh, you know, ED at TMT Investment Banking. So journey took a while. It took him almost 14 years, 13 years, but he's there now and he's happy. I'm sure he's happy. So anyways, uh, what I would do is to apply to this job, obviously apply on the career thing, but I'll also like shoot someone who's the head of the group an email. So shoot Devansh Gupta an email. His email is probably devansh.gupta.gs.com and, and be like, hey, look, uh, you know, I'm interested in this opportunity. It looks like you're looking for a lateral potentially. Uh, if you have some time, we'd love to connect. Anyway, so that's another job that I think you guys should look at. Uh, Goldman Sachs is a great brand, probably one of the best brands uh, in, in the industry um, in, in investment banking. Um, and, and I think you guys, should, you, should, you guys should look into that. All right, so next one. Uh, this is a startup, and I think uh, you, know, you guys should definitely apply for jobs in, in the startup world as well, uh, just because you, know, you want to be, um, you know, uh, you wanna be in investment banking or consulting or venture. Sometimes the best path to it could be, you know, working at a startup. Actually, the best path, just generally, in parallel to what you're currently pursuing, could be a startup. And sometimes there's really awesome startups that you guys can look at. So the next startup that I want to talk to you guys about is this company called Future. Their website is future.fit. What this is is it's basically a, um, you know, a personal trainer. Not everybody can afford a personal trainer, but using this company, these guys have, you know, brought the prices down because it's all remote personal training. And I think this company is awesome. Uh, I've actually reached out to the founder multiple times and he has not hired me yet. Uh, and if he you know, wants to hire me, I would love to work for this guy. Uh, great team, product is awesome. I've seen my friends use it. Um, and it's a premium product, right? So it's $5 a month, so that's $150. $5 a day, it's $150 a month is how much people pay for it. Now, they're currently hiring for a bunch of roles as you guys can see here, product designer, front end engineer, software engineer, back end engineer, lead back end engineer, online marketing manager, uh, and a bunch of you know roles like that, so I think that's pretty awesome. But if you look at the company, I will you know uh, share this article with you guys, and I'll put it in the show notes, guys. There's an article by Kleiner Perkins, which is a VC fund that invested in this, and it talks about why this company is amazing, right? The best part about this is that you know you can read all of this on your own, but I think if you go down to this chart, this chart is crazy, right? For, what this chart basically says, and I'll read it, it's like um, people. Uh, we have never seen a product where most users were using the product 10 to 20 days over 28 period, right? Which is crazy. And if you look at the statement, we were astonished to observe 85% of the users engage with their coach for nine or more days in a 28 day period. So this basically says the engagement is so freaking high, right? It's so freaking high. And why is it high? It's a high, it's a premium product. People are interested. Number two, I'm sure the product is great. The coaches are awesome and they keep you motivated and they're, texting you all the time and getting you, you know, off your ass and actually doing the job. Anyways, I actually think in the fitness world, this company could be big, probably is gonna be big. Uh, I'm, I'm betting the farm on this one. So if you guys are interested, definitely, definitely, you know, read up on this. Now, how would I apply? I would apply directly with the CEO. So let's see who is the CEO again. I forget his name, not him. That's not him. That's not him. Rishi, Rishi is the CEO, yes. So Rishi Future Fit. So Rishi is the CEO. So what I would recommend you is to email Rishi and you can probably find his emails. It's probably Rishi at future.fit. That's probably his email. So I would reach out to them. If you can't reach out to him from there, reach out to him on, on um, uh, Twitter and mention your interest. Anyways, guys, those are the three jobs that I think you guys should hit on today uh, for this week. Um, hopefully that helps you guys. And I'm gonna try to do these every week just to pick like three interesting rules that have come up that I would personally apply to and I, or I would think that you guys should apply to. Uh, and then I'll teach you a little bit of tips and tricks on how I would go about it. Hopefully this helps you. So the three jobs were the venture capital job at Founder Collective, awesome opportunity, they're looking for a principal, a little bit of a senior role, then TMT analyst in one of the best investment banking groups in the world at Goldman Sachs, not as good as Morgan Stanley, but good enough. And then a cool, awesome, grow, you know, rocket ship of a startup at future.fit. 
um, that I think you guys should definitely look into. Anyway, guys, anyways, guys, that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And then I will be back for who's hiring next Sunday. See ya. Peace.